up Smashy? So today I'm going to be playing this new tower defense game called Garden Defense. Now this is apparently inspired by Plants vs. Zombies. I, I don't know. Uh, the lobby so far, it looks kind of... Uh, eh. There's not really much to the lobby. There's like leaderboards and all that. AFK zone and then endless mode and all that. But we got like four different maps we could play. Splash Lane, this desert, Sands of Time. I think those are these are based off of Plants vs. Zombies maps. And then also there's Sunny Lawn. Okay, so there's like three, but four if you want to include uh, endless. But I'm gonna go start and do Sunny Lawn. We're gonna do easy because we only have starter units. We don't have like any epic or rare units to play on. There you go. He does 10 damage. Okay, cooldowns 1.6. Eh, that's kind of that's kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie. If I want to try to take out these faster, but we just upgrade him. His cooldowns now 1.2. So that's that's at least at least better than 1.6 and i have not placed cactus yet 2.5 cooldown okay that's a lot worse than you know i'm just gonna keep placing pea shooters because it has a little bit more range than the cactus and we also got this cherry thing for nine robux i'm not gonna i mean that's pretty cheap but i don't know what that does we're just gonna keep placing pea shooters because that seems to be working and it has like way less cooldown than the cactus i'm saying the cool star tower these two star tower cooldowns are like not the best one point if you're talking about 1.6 and 1.2 that's like really slow but we're on wave four right now so that's really good and we got some normal zombies okay so here comes the cone hat zombies <laughs> yeah actually i think the towers are really accurate i would say like this game kind of ui is kind of like uh, basic uh, there's nothing wrong with it i'll say like the ui is six out of ten already you could place up to 16 towers at least that's good i guess but i don't know how much you could place when you're playing with other people <laughs> and it's just the same enemies I mean, it's probably gonna change, but okay, see, here we go. It's starting to change now. Why is there like ninjas looking zombies coming out? I think that might be in the real game. I could be wrong though. I don't remember that being in the real game, but I'm not sure. But we got this small boss. Okay, so we just took out that guy out. Yeah, you can't stack towers on this game like other tower defenses I played, where you could just like put them like spaced out a little bit. Unless you can, I'm just in it. I mean, you can a little bit. Oh, there we go. I have six pea shooters. We're just destroying these. Oh, this is the. Okay, this is a huge boss. Okay, well, wait. Oh, okay, we just took it out. Okay, so there's only. This only goes up to 12 waves, but we got a nice 150 gems. So let me check out the different towers they have. So they have repeater. Okay, 500 gems. Fire pea shooter, 1,500. Electric pea shooter, chomper. Why does this do infinite? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, okay, that's insane. Okay. A melon pull, um, turn a pull, cob canyon, spike rock, boomerang. Okay, I guess the rest are coming soon, but I think those are just coming soon. So they also have an AFK zone and endless mode but that's all i'm going to be checking out for today's video on garden defense if you guys enjoy this game i'll link the game down below and my final thoughts on this game i will give it a solid 7 out of 10 but yeah if you want to check out my other videos here like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out